Aloha folks, Bob Rogers here with Hawaiian Trike Tours. We're here at Castles. I'm checking out the surf. Let me give you a little view of that. There's a surfboard floating around. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just going for a short neighborhood ride, but I found a cool little off-road adventure for me. Anything to get off the highway. You know, living by the ocean, there's just so much wind. And uh, there's kite sailors out there, sailboats. And there are even some sailboats on the land. What am I talking about? With all this wind, before we got on the trike, I thought we'd head over to the BYU campus with the grandson and fly some of those performance kites. Boy, we had a blast. The wind was so strong. All right, let's go find some other thing that deals with wind. Before we go, you might notice I'm wearing my surfing rash guard and board shorts as I was going to hit the water after my trike ride today. I changed my mind and decided to go trike exploring because there's way too much wind. Okay, check out the six wind turbines across the way that were installed in the nearby town of Kahuku last year. We ride by them all the time and I thought we'd see if we can get closer and check them out. Early in the week, I recently found a couple of dirt roads that take us up towards the mountain and maybe towards those windmills. The road's a bit dusty, bumpy, gravelly. Good thing we sprayed electrical contact cleaner on all the connections and got it nice and snug as mentioned in the previous video. Yes, it's true I cover my face because of the intense sun that shines down on us. And this way you can't see my lips moving and I can mumble all I want. As we ride along, we see the slopes of the Ko'olau mountain range known as the Kuhukus. As we make our way up, we can see scores of farm on either sides of the road. I don't know what that first crop is, but there's a banana orchard, and on the right it looks like some form of taro or another crop. We pass by papaya trees and what looks like a weak breadfruit orchard. This is all leased land from the LDS church. Your guess is as good as mine as what some of these other crops are. I know up the road there's a lily koi or passion fruit orchard with wire fence suspending the vine and the yellow hard skin protecting the fruit. The dusty road twists and turns as we slowly make our way up the hill. And now we can see we have a different farm, a wind farm. This is an extension to the initial wind farm that was installed 11 years ago. These six new ones are the largest turbines of the farm, which in total delivers 30 megawatts of energy, enough to power 7,700 homes. This project includes a 15 megawatt energy storage battery system to ensure that power is available when wind speeds are low. All right, we're, we're continuing up this road here. This is the last, or maybe we'd call the first, of these new six. Boy, look how big that thing is. It's huge. I'm so thankful to get off of that main road and get on a, another place where I can explore coming up here. Look at that. You can see how big this thing is and uh, how big that turbine is up there. Pretty cool. Yes, it does make a nice noise. Okay, let's uh, head on down this road here and see uh, we can check out the rest of these and how close we can get. I'm really surprised how close they're letting us get to these things. I thought there'd be a fence all around them. And it might just be my lucky day that I get to ride on this road. We'll see. I plan to come back, hopefully many times, but this is really impressive. Gorgeous day today. All right, for you guys that signed up for your Hawaiian lessons, here's your Hawaiian word of the day. Makani, which is the Hawaiian word for wind. The wind farm provides power for our neighborhood towns of Kahuku and La'ie. They are also our power backup to our 25 photovoltaic panels and two 
Powerall batteries that we have at our house. We are pretty much self-sufficient power-wise, but glad to have the backup of the wind farms. So while the wind is a pain when surfing and riding a trike, it provides efficient power to the islands. Combining with the sun, we are much closer and closer to self-sufficiency in the islands. Across the island, more and more residents are turning to photovoltaic solutions for their power. Makes sense, we got a lot of sun. Alrighty then, uh, we're about ready to head down the mountain. Uh, let me see if I can check the radio. We got a reception way up here. I need some traveling music. All right. Hang tight. Well, that was our exploring ride Malka towards the mountain. We saw many farms, including our neighborhood Makani, our wind farm. I hope you enjoyed the ride, and we look forward to the next episode on Hawaiian trike tours. Well, here, here are some technical notes. I uh, did not bring my 360 camera with me today. I was, uh, it's kind of a spur of a moment uh, I found this trail. So I shot the whole thing on my iPhone. A little bumpy, but uh, I think we get the point. All right, that's all. You brothers and sisters have an awesome week and happy wanderings in your neighborhood. Get on your trike, get out there and ride all around. Hope the wind is at your back. You guys be good, be healthy, be safe, and of course be happy. Aloha.